Hi guys, Craig and Annette, Oz Camping. Today we want to talk to you about hot water systems. So specifically we'll be looking at the Truma Ultra Rapid system, commonly installed in most campers and caravans. So let's start around the back of the van. We've got the Truma hot water system installed, it comes out through the wall of the van, and most importantly if it's been installed properly you're going to have this cowling on it and you're going to have some form of cowling cover. On our van we've got this nice met, um, aluminium box that goes up here and locks off. On some of them you just have the plastic cowling cover that goes over here but it's really important that this cowling cover is installed and if you're going to use this, the hot water system on gas that you take the cowling cover off or you open the cowling cover. Okay so now we've moved inside the van and you're looking at the Truma Ultra Rapid 14 litre hot water system. So a couple of things to note, the Ultra Rapid will work on gas or 240 volt. So if we're going to run it on 240 volt, the first thing we need to do is we need to look for our 240 volt power line, plug it into an outlet and if you're camped at a caravan park or you're plugged into 240 volt, you can turn the switch on and that's all you have to do. So within half an hour, 45 minutes, you'll have hot water. That's according to the manual. Um, we find that we have hot water probably within about 10 to 15 minutes. Now a couple of things to think about. We are going to do a troubleshooting video on the Truma hot water system, but it's really important that the system is full of hot, uh, sorry, full of cold water before you start. So let's just turn this power point off. I know ours is full, but if you haven't used your system for a while or you've drained it using this drain valve down here on the floor, okay, that is the safety drain valve. This one is a pressure release valve. And on our system, we have this one over here as well, which is a tempering valve, and I'll explain that. So we need to make sure that this system is full of water. The easiest way to do that is just to release the pressure valve and you'll see in this hose here you'll see the water flow through I'll do that again and when you've got no air bubbles coming through you know that this hot water system is full of water okay so at that point it is safe to turn on or to try and use the gas so with our 240 volt we're just going to turn it on here and that's all we have to do So let's have a look at 12 volt operation. With 12 volt operation, we don't need our 240 volt turned on. It's not going to hurt if it is left on, but we come to our control panel, which on our CX3 Pro is over here, and we turn on the hot water. Now all that does is turns on the 12 volt system that's responsible for igniting this, okay? We already have our gas turned on outside and then down here we have the Truma control panel. Now the Truma control panel is only used for gas. So I've turned on my 12 volt to make sure the igniter is going to work and I can switch this switch up for 60 degree water or down for 70 degree. We usually go the hottest we can and when I flick this switch down you're going to hear a click as the hot water system starts up. And there it goes. Now, at this point, the gas should ignite. If you hear lots of little clicks and the gas isn't igniting, after a while, you're going to see in here a red LED come up. And that, if you've got a red LED here, it indicates that the, that the heater is not heating. So what you do is you switch it off, and the manual says, wait for 10 minutes. I usually wait for two, then turn it back on again and let the system ignite. Now if you've run out of gas or it's the first time you've used the heater and there's no gas in the line, then it might take three or four t attempts to light, but once it's lit, it will stay lit, assuming that it's been installed properly. Now we'll cover a couple of things in our troubleshooting video if you're having trouble with this system. 
So that's it for operating the Truma hot water system guys. Um, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. Uh, we'd love to have you along for the ride. If you're having trouble with your hot water system, stay tuned because we're going to do a troubleshooting of the Truma Ultra Rapid system. And in the meantime, I'll have a cold beer with my hot water and we'll see you next time.